and come back out, fully relaxed, relaxed, and yes, and out, relaxed. Can you tell us about uh, Priscilla when you first met her? She arrived here almost uh, two years ago. Uh, out of nowhere, uh, she decided to just come and watch the, a little bit of judo. It was like the long weekend in August, and then the dad decided to register her. She was an orange belt at that time. And then, uh, because she's small, she's my size, uh, lots of guts, uh, I started to train with her. I started to think that maybe she should be going to competition. She has a lot of drive to win, so um, that's helping a lot. And so we had to promote her a little fast because she had to go to international tournaments. So, and now she's going to the World Games. And then in the summer, she's going to be at the Pan Am, Para Pan Am in uh, Toronto. Very, very fast, as fast as you can do it, and finish with the throw, with a good throw. Tonight was a really good class, really strong class. You had a lot of uh, good bodies out. We had uh, seven guys out tonight that are uh, either fighting in the national championships next week or uh, Priscilla and myself are off to the Worlds tomorrow. So tonight was a good, strong night. Uh, the national coach, vision impaired team, Andre Sadaj, was on the mat with us tonight and he, uh, he worked us technical for the first half hour and then we did uh, five good, strong uh, uh, randoris, uh, sparring sessions. Those of us who are ready for competition, we have to push. Those who are practicing judo for recreational purposes, the intensity doesn't have to be so high. But for, the, for those who plan to win at the national championships and at the world championships, we need to push. We need to push beyond what you think you can do. How do you think she'll do in Korea? Uh, it's hard to say. The last World Championship went pretty hard for her. It was a little bit difficult, but uh, now she has more experience. She almost has an extra year of judo, so I think, that's, I think she's going to do well. I'm hoping. <laughs> Number four. As for uh, Benjamin, uh, my uh, our old youngest son, the 15 years old over there, <laughs> he's been training here for as long as he could walk. Uh, he went to Bremen this past winter in March and um, got ninth over 59 people. Uh, he surprised everybody because he was the youngest one in the category and then uh, he's going to the national next week and uh, hopefully at some point he'll be at the world championship. Work on it, work, work, work. We need to finish it. Four minutes to go. We had Song going into Korea feeling really good, really strong, uh, healthy. Uh, nothing more I can say until I get back. All the best. Thanks.